Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2017. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to VMworld. We are live on theCUBE, day two of our continuing coverage here. We've had a great day and a half so far. I'm Lisa Martin with my co-host Keith Townsend. We're excited to be joined by two guests from HPE who are new to theCUBE. We have Leslie Maher, the VP of, Ent of North American Enterprise Server and Converged Systems. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. And Satya Vardharajan, Senior Director of Strategic Alliances from HPE. Welcome to you as well. Oh, well, thank you, uh, Lisa. Thanks for being, uh, inviting us here. Absolutely. So guys, Let's talk to each of you, Leslie, we'll start with you. Tell us about your role in, uh, especially on the Converge side for HPE and what you're doing with VMware. Great, so uh, my role at HPE is I'm responsible for our enterprise servers and Converge systems. And what that means is really our value products. Um, so a couple of my key responsibilities, one is our HPE Synergy, composable infrastructure that you know, I'm sure you've probably heard people talk about here at the, uh, the event. Uh, and then we also have Converge products um, around offerings like SAP HANA uh, and some of the more mission critical servers. So, so here a lot of the focus has been on Synergy and uh, our relationship once with VMware, but also solutions around vSAN and uh, vCloud Foundation where Synergy you know, provides some really unique capabilities. Yes, and Satya, tell us about your role in alliances and your kind of GTM strategy with VMware. Sure, so I manage the uh, VMware Alliance globally at Hill Packard Enterprise, uh, and this is a very strategic relationship for HPE. Uh, we have a long history with uh, VMware, over 15 years. We've had a great run uh, with VMware, uh, and we continue to innovate every day. So my role at uh, HPE is to make sure that we keep the customer trends in our radar as we co-partner and innovate together uh, with VMware, and uh, at VMworld 2017, we've got lots of great, exciting announcements, uh, and we're more than happy to share with them as we, as we get through the discussion today. Fantastic. So, a big question around converged systems. You know, hyper-converged, you guys will have the hyper-converged guys on shortly. Sure. But, converged systems has kind of gotten a bad rap over the past couple of years, like, oh, that's the legacy. But, as you mentioned, SAP, HANA systems, what's the relationship between converged systems and VMware? Well, so to your point, um, about seven years ago, the industry um, tried to simplify IT operations by doing converged systems, and that was just putting together servers, storage, uh, and uh, networking fabric, and putting it all together for our customers. Where the industry's moved to now is more software-defined capabilities, where you know not just putting those hardware pieces together, but enabling them through software. And so hyper-converged uh, is one flavor of that, and we're right. hearing a lot about that here in the conference. And then at HPE, what we, we did is we innovated around the best of converged, and hyper-converged and put them together into a new category of infrastructure called Composable. So fully software-defined, it does compute, storage, and fabric. Uh, and the essential idea here is that you can have any combination of these elements through a software-defined capability, and so it really extends the ability of hyper-converged to multiple workloads. So, um, so we use this term Composable Infrastructure, uh, in addition to supporting, uh, through other products we have, hyper-converged. So, that's you know where we're seeing the market trend. So Leslie, that's a unique concept, this composable concept. It sounds a lot like virtualization. Yeah. How does the two relate to, can I run virtualization on top of uh, these synergy systems? Great question, so uh, absolutely. In fact, you know one of the key things with hyper-converged or composable is the ability to really uh, have virtualized workloads. But in addition to that, with our composable infrastructure, um, we let you also run uh, bare metal, as well as containerized workloads. So you have a you know, real range of workloads you can run in one set of infrastructure. And so we can support lots of workloads, different kinds of uh, storage in the environment, and fabric, so you have a real range of opportunity. So let's talk a little bit about Composable and your target market. What is the key message? A lot of it sounds like flexibility and agility within, yeah. within yeah. the technology. What's the key message to your VMware customers that are using VMware software? So, uh, you know, with customers who are using VMware software, it, it is it's a flexibility. So, for example, with vSAN, we've talked a lot about here at the conference our relationship with VMware, and vSAN is the ability to have software-defined storage. And what what our HPE offerings allow you to do is to have. Um, 
the ability to scale, compute, and storage independently. So giving you this very flexible environment to grow your capacity, and then you manage it with this virtualized vSAN um, um, software-defined storage from VMware. And so very simple for our customers to really have um, you know, simple operations and really flexible scale is what these new applications are requiring. So as you guys have been talking to both from a VMware and HPE perspective to customers, how have they been receiving this message? Look, from a, from a customer standpoint, it's very clear. Um, they need to move to the hybrid IT model, and that's, their, uh, that's kind of the mandate that's coming, and they see it on the horizon. But they also want to do it in a very cost-effective manner. They want to do it in a very scalable, efficient, and automated manner. And that's when customers look to HPE and VMware to solve the problem for them. And, and that's where our, you know, flagship composable platform Synergy comes into play. Uh, marrying the benefits of Synergy with VMware's Cloud Foundation software, which is again a very seamless and automated way of consuming a software-defined stack. You bring those two together, what you get is industry's first composable platform that lets you set up your private cloud in less than minutes, hmm. but also gives you the ability to allocate and reallocate, again, compute, storage and networking resources independent of each other at well, creating this very flexible platform for traditional workloads, cloud native workloads, private cloud workloads. So that's, that's, what, well, that's what we're hearing from the customers. They want us to step in, solve this problem, but also give them the visibility on top. We were at a partner panel earlier today and one of the partners got up and said, look, this is all fantastic. Look, you, you're making the right moves, you're building the right solutions for us, but help us understand how are you going to build that Uber layer of visibility and more detailed predictive analytics to help us get the whole picture? Because I don't want to use third party tools. And those are the frontiers that HP and VMware will continue to uh, work on together and create new solutions for our customers. So one of the things this morning that Michael Dell mentioned when he was on stage with Pat Gelsinger was that um, Dell EMC and, and VMware are like peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> Such a good combination. Right? Or <laughs> delicious. Right? Uh, right. It's lovely. So, Post, you know, one year post combination, mm -hmm. right? How is how has has that strengthened the HP VMware partnership with sure. this now umbrella under Dell Technologies in the last kind of minute or so? Talk to us about yeah. how that's helped you maybe differentiate. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, right from the beginning, as soon as the acquisition was announced, there was a lot of skepticism, and that was industry wide. Everybody said, "Hey, how is this going to impact the rest of the ecosystem?" VMware made it a point, and Michael as well made it a point to come out outright and say, look, we don't want to mess with the ecosystem. The neutrality is very important to us to make and VMware not only you know, thrive, survive, all of the above, right? So we've seen that in the market. Uh, we don't see any material change in the relationship with VMware. Uh, just a few proof points I want to throw out there. You know, we are still the largest OEM for VMware from a product perspective. We have over 500,000 customers together who make demands on running workloads. Our channel overlap is over 80%. Uh, and all of this continues to you know, uh, be recognized. Uh, uh, we've won a lot of awards in the past, but last two years we won the uh, OEM Innovation Award of the Year, Partner of the Year I Award that. from I think VMware. I may have seen a photo with you. Yeah. And I was so talk about synergy, pun intended. It yeah. sounds <laughs> like it's... <laughs> no, it is. It sounds like it's only strengthening. Yeah, so it is strengthening because we took it upon ourselves uh, at HP as a challenge to say, hey look, I know there's a new owner, uh, but this shouldn't have materially changed your business because there's so much business at stake and we cannot ignore the customers. The demand for our products is, joint products is stronger than ever. Absolutely, it's great you guys. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing what's new, what's going on, and the, and the commitment to customers outstanding. Leslie Satya, thank you so much. You're now in the category of CUBE alumni. All right, That's thank you great. so much. Thank Thanks you. for having, having you back. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And for my co-host Keith Townsend, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching live continuing coverage by theCUBE of VMworld 2017 day two. Stick around, we'll be right back.